Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to another video where today we've got a very difficult challenge. We're going to watch Cardiff City versus Chelsea. Now, of course, it's been the international breaks for them. We've been fixtures in quite a while now. Uh, we did, of course, beat West Ham 2-0 in the last match and we do have a game in hand as well, I believe. Um, coming up against the Chelsea side, who haven't been performing too well away, but it's Chelsea. So it's going to be an automatically a different, difficult challenge. Um, saying that, Callum Patson's out for the season now as well, which is another huge blow for the Bluebirds. Just getting worse for us with all these injuries and stuff. But anyway, five past two kickoff, bizarre kickoff time as usual. And once again, I'm joined by this man. Yep, the city. Yes, there he is. Go sub to his channel, link in the description below. Yes, like I said, very difficult challenge. Hard to say what's going to happen. Are we going to get destroyed? Are we going to be able to pull off a draw? But who knows really with this one difficult to say what's your thoughts well yesterday was a massive blow because burnley and southampton both carved out victories um, i think burnley brighton and southampton are now on all on 33 points cardiff on 28 points at this time hopefully we'll be able to get three points this afternoon against chelsea but it's going to be a very difficult task uh, in the last fixture cardiff beat West Ham in a very good display, but West Ham looked terrible yesterday against uh, Everton, losing 2-0, so I I don't know how much we can read into that last victory now, but um, today we've got to get at least something, a point. If we lose, you know, it's not the be-all and end-all because we've got those fixtures against the likes of Crystal Palace, uh, Burnley away in a, I think it's last next weekend, Brighton, um, Brighton as well, Fulham. Fulham, so... You know, it's, it's not all the be all end of all, but can we win those four matches anyway? It's unlikely, so we need to get something out of today. So hopefully we can. Hopefully Nias has got his, his shooting boots on today, because I think he forgot them last time, even though his build-up play was very good. So, yeah, hopefully we'll get the victory, or a draw at least. What's your uh, score prediction for well, today? Well, in the prediction video, it was 2-1 to Chelsea. I'm not going to change that. That's my head saying that. My heart says 1-1. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree with you. I literally said 2-1 in the predictions video just to get the points, really, because I'm way behind you in it, to be honest. But, uh, but yeah, anything could happen today. I'm not sure what sort of team Neil Warnock's going to put out. Um, well, the back four is going to pick itself, isn't it? Yeah, because um, cause we literally don't have any defenders left. It's going to be, like, um, Bamba's out for the season. Connolly's injured, even though he, he hasn't played this season at all, I don't think. Um, and Jazz Richards is also injured as and well. So Cunningham will probably be on the bench. That's the only cover there, isn't it? So. Yeah, but Cunningham, like, I think, can play um, centre back anyway. So. Yeah, and, and we've we'll seen Gunnison right. in the past play right back. So yes, as well. Quite surprising that back match. I can't remember who it was against, but um, it'll be a shame when uh, Gunnison leaves anyway. We just have to wait and see for this team lineup really. And come on, City. Team has just been announced: Etheridge and Gold back four, uh, Peltier, Manga, Morrison, and Bennett. Then Gunnison is a CDM. Then across midfield as well, you have um, Harry Arter and Victor Camaras, the two loanies. Then on the one side, we have got Josh Murphy. Then on the other, we have Junior Hoylet. And then Umar Niasse up top on his own. That is a completely unchanged side against the, when we got that win against West Ham. The likes of Joe Rawls, Kenneth Zahor, uh, Kadeem Harris, Mendes Lang, Brian Murphy, no Smithies this week. And Leonardo Bakuna are all on the bench. That means that if one of the, our defenders get injured, then our own match. So yeah, it looks a very good team. Uh, just to you on the, just here on the radio as well, the, um, Chelsea We've got both Edin Hazard, Hudson Adoy, and N'Golo Kante all on the bench. So yeah, it's looking uh, it's looking good for us. But they have Pedro and William. So uh, how is how is the likes of Lee Peltier going to be able to keep up with the, with all that pace? So. We'll just have to wait and see. What's your thoughts? Yeah, interesting, but uh, yeah, on the way to the stadium now. Hopefully, we'll give Chelsea a, a really good game. Defenders, adios! Never gives 
the ball away. Super Junior ball. Tell me, it's gone. Cardiff started off really well. Then lose. going to bring them on second half and that could be in trouble. Well, Cardiff holding their own, could have had a couple of chances, I think it was even Camarad Sir or Murphy should have, you know, just flash wide, but uh, Cage at the moment, stay still nil, that's okay, but I see that as a positive. Yeah. 
Honourable Members. Hurry up, come on, Mangus Lang. Come on, surely we've got to get a goal. Oh, we're probably going to get six minutes added time, I imagine. So, yeah, just push Chelsea all the way, all out attack. And hopefully we can get that goal. That's my reaction right now. If you ask me, that is ridiculous. It's unbelievable. Cheats. Cheats, 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 you cheats, you cheats. Him off? You know, after five minutes ago, and now we're fucking 2 1 down with point down. 2 1. To the referee, 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 2 1. Get in there. His arm is in the fucking oh, face. Come on! Oh, here we go again. Yeah. Oh, come on! What? Oh, my Dale! This is ridiculous. Tracked him down. Right then, where do we start with this one? Nothing short of a disgrace that was, what do you think? Yeah, terrible, terrible referee and uh, there's so many decisions that went against Cardiff today, robbed out of at least a point, maybe all three, but uh, the referee, I, he's got to be corrupt or something, that's, that's harsh, but it, oh, it was disgusting. Zahor, one on one, being brought down, that's a red card, referee, doesn't know what's going on, has something in his ear and goes for a yellow that should have been a red Morrison first half should have had a penalty um, I know Chelsea could have by all accounts had a penalty As Aslaqueta apparently offside as well I haven't seen any replays but I'm being told heard on the radio as well so uh, corruption at the top of the table favouring the big boys um, they want to keep the top six as it is really and it's really harsh on the likes of Cardiff and the smaller clubs disgusting and it could have co cost Cardiff uh, the status in the Premier League okay honestly I gotta agree with that if we do get relegated then I am a hundred percent blaming the entire season or I don't know if that's this sounds a bit deluded but if we do get relegated then I am pretty much blaming it on the refereeing because Today yeah, was absolutely. If, if Cardiff go away to Burnley and lose, and Southampton, um, not Southampton, Brighton and lose, then fair enough. But last couple of games, they, Cardiff played really well, and today really robbed of at least a point. Oh, absolutely! Just ro we were robbed completely. Like, if the I'm going to watch that Aspilicueta go back, and if it was like, if it was offside, then it's we have been a hundred percent robbed, literally, absolutely ridiculous. My thoughts on the players, Camarasa by far man of the match, he was fantastic, Gunnison had a good game, defence was strong, um, and man of the match for the whole game, the referee of course, ridiculous. <laughs> What's your thoughts? Uh, yeah, Cardiff played really well, you know, Chelsea just like sort of limped through the match really, but uh, yeah, Camarasa had a great strike. You know, he was he was good, um, but I thought Peltier had a really good game. Um, I'm not sure how the the goals panned out and what happened. We know one of them was offside or apparently offside, but uh, even when he was he was battling against Hazard, I think second half and or, or somebody and the referee pulled it back for a legitimate tackle. It was it was terrible. Um, so Arta had a good game. Hoylet was good, but. Uh, I think I'm going to give it to Peltier just over Camaras, yeah. I think. And Niasse was good too. Yeah, Niasse had a good game as well. Uh, got to completely agree with you with that. Could win away to Man City. We're definitely not going to get points from that. But last games against the likes of Burnley, Brighton and Fulham, essential really now. Thanks to this rubbish that we saw today from the ref and Warnock. I don't know how he kept his cool. <laughs> just stood there and stared at the referee. He's not moving. 
um, I, d I thought I don't know how the fourth official made out alive because he looked like he was gonna he was gonna knock him out along with Mitch Mauricio Sari as well. Oh dear, disgraceful. So guys, if you did enjoy this video, then please do leave a like. And if this is the first ever video you see my mean, then please do consider hitting that subscribe button for more super good content like this, if you can call it good anyway. Um, follow my social medias in the description below, and I'll see you all next time against Liverpool. Hoi Valor. Uh, yeah, just before I round up the video, um, thank you very much, uh, Douglas, once again for sending me his tweet. Look at that! Like, what? Disgraceful. Thank God VAR is coming in next season.